This video is a product buyer's guide intended for gift givers and adult collectors. Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. And Sang. Ready to rock, Rainbow High fans? In today's video, we'll be reviewing all three of the Rainbow High Rockstars dolls, a musician-themed line featuring a brand new set of characters, Vanessa Tempo, Lyric Lucas, and Carmen Major. We haven't met any of these girls in the animated series just yet, so their personalities and role in the plot are still a bit of a mystery. We do, however, catch a glimpse of Lyric on the cover of Crystal Bailey's publication, The Scene, in Season 2, Episode 4. The Rockstars line features deluxe packaging and accessories, with not only the usual alternate outfits, but also musical instruments for each member of the band. It looks like we have Lyric on vocals, Carmen playing guitar, and Vanessa on drums. As we mentioned in our last discussion video, the Rockstars dolls aren't the only retailer-exclusive deluxe line popping up on store shelves. The Walmart-exclusive Slumber Party dolls are also becoming available across the U.S. Sang and I don't have the greatest luck with stock at our local Walmarts, but after many days of searching and driving to several stores, and rallying the help of a friend, we have officially secured Brianna Dolce, Robin Sterling, and Marisa Golding of the Slumber Party line. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you're among the first to know when that review goes live. The Rockstar line is exclusive to Target at this time. We aren't sure if this will change later. Each doll is priced at $49.99 each, making them the most expensive solo Rainbow High dolls so far aside from the collector doll Jet Dawson. We'll display their UPCs and Target DPCI numbers on screen here if you are hunting them down yourself. The Rockstar dolls come in the wider, slimmer box style we've seen before in the Winter Break line. The left-hand side compartment displays each character's instrument accessories just below the metallic gold Rockstar logo Logo and decorative music notes. More music notes and artwork of the characters line the bottom, and just like Kaya Hearts, these dolls have the special edition sticker. Continuing the theme introduced in Series 3, we see each character's school focus on the right side emblem. All three of them are music focused, of course. Per usual, the doll's secondary outfits and shoes are on display across the two right side compartments. Full body artwork of all three girls decorate the back of the box. The gold music notes really pop against the rainbow iridescent overlay. We learn a little bit more about these characters in the bottom description reading, The most electric band at Rainbow High is on its way to superstardom. Watch their music video to see them rock. Wonder if this means we'll see another original song and music video from Rainbow High when these characters are introduced into the series. Let's open them up for a closer look. First up, we have lead singer Lyric Lucas. She is the only character in this line to use the original Series 1 face sculpt. Her bold statement eyeshadow is sectioned into six colors of the rainbow, but interestingly not in rainbow order, with violet in the inner crease, blue in the outer crease. A thin line of white is drawn across in a cat eye shape. Her iris is quite unique, being mostly white with tinges of dark and light blue. Her entire eye is outlined in a light brown liner with a layer of silver glitter along the bottom lid. She also wears peachy pink lipstick, which we noticed varies between matte and glossy application, doll to doll. Of the Rockstar dolls we picked up, Lyric is the only one sporting highlight shimmer on her face. We also noticed some Lyrics have really smudged eyeshadow paint jobs, so be on the lookout for that. Lyric wears a black fabric hat on her head. That's right, folks. This Playline doll wears a hat without a hint of plastic. RH in white and a faux chain lining are embroidered along the front, and there's even a real strap back and buckle to adjust the fit. While this realism is mostly amazing, be wary of the plastic ties you'll need to snip off to remove it from her head. 
they can leave some unsightly stubs. With Lyric's hat off, we can see her lovely multicolored hair. It had minimal product and was brushable right out of box, but what's seen here is how she looks after a full boil wash straightening. The base color is a dark raisin purple with highlights of violet, lime green, orange, yellow, and royal blue. Her hair looks gorgeous washed, but the one we found here unfortunately has an uneven hairline and a large bald spot just behind the front layer of rooting. It's unfortunate her hat prevents us from inspecting this in store. Her golden earrings are shaped like safety pins with a mythical looking face at the post and RH emblem on the bottom. These definitely seem to be inspired by Versace's Medusa safety pin earrings. Lyric's signature outfit starts with a classic band t-shirt in black with Rainbow Tour 2021 written above several tour locations. Anyone want to go see the RH rock stars in Tokyo with us? Visiting Japan is on my bucket list. She also wears a golden RH faux chain necklace that snaps closed in the back. The logo stylization on this shirt design seems to be inspired by Metallica's logo. Over her shirt, Lyric wears a luxurious white faux fur coat, and similarly to Stella Monroe's, it's broken up into fabric sections. This time around, lined in multicolored stitching with faux zippers down the front and sleeve cuffs. Also like Stella, it appears as though this coat borrows Moschino inspiration. If you think the outside is gorgeous, wait till you open it up. This coat is fully lined in soft silver fabric, decorated in the RH logo and giving off a gorgeous iridescent sheen. Check out that rainbowy refracting. One of the coolest parts of the Rockstar dolls is that they come with fabric fingerless gloves, something we don't see super often on adult collector dolls, let alone Playline. Lyrics are a black pleather with the RH logo delicately embroidered in white. This level of detail deserves serious praise. Her black pleather pants look a bit similar to the pair we saw in the deluxe fashion closet. They have a functioning drawstring at the waist, and surprisingly, there are no functioning pockets at the front, only at the rear. Rainbow-colored stitching lines various sections of each leg. Lyric's signature shoes are black heels with painted gold safety pin decorations, a gold-studded strap over each toe, and the soles are painted in multicolored gradients in warm and cool colors, respectively. The devious twins would approve. These shoes once again appear to borrow Versace inspiration, looking very similar to their safety pin Nappa leather sandals. Lyric's second outfit opts for something to wear offstage, beginning with a simple white tee sporting the word rainbow in a graffiti stylized font with pairing paint splatters. Over the tee, Lyric can wear a black jersey style overshirt with white buttons, more rainbow stitching, and a stylized rainbow logo across the chest. This piece is a bit oversized on her. She honestly drowns in it a bit. She wears a black pleather skirt beneath that using a similar rainbow stitching design as her pants. There are functioning pockets at the rear and a separate white belt piece that reads rainbow. Maybe it's just the particular cut of fabric on this one, but the skirt on ours is extremely short. It barely covers her thighs. Her secondary shoes are pearly white knee-high boots, complete with sculpted RH logo buckles and plenty of paint detailing. The soles have similar multicolored warm and cool color gradients to her first shoes. Next up, we have the band's drummer, Vanessa Tempo. She used the Devious Twins face sculpt and offers something Rainbow High fans have been requesting for a while now. Brown eyes on a dark skin character. Her skin tone seems unique as well, not quite matching any existing character. We'd say she falls somewhere in between Sunny and Crystal. It's a bit hidden behind her lashes, but she does wear a thin layer of cobalt blue eyeshadow, outlined in a larger layer of soft brown with a touch of iridescent shimmer. She wears a mauve lipstick with a slightly darker lip liner. Vanessa's hair is tied into thin braided twists, with one large section tied into a top knot half up ponytail. She wears a blue faux denim scrunchie at the base. Her hair is mostly dark brown with trailing sections in a rainbow of several additional colors. 
red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. The violet twists do blend lighter and darker shades of purple, pretty close to indigo. So maybe we can say her hair includes the full spectrum of seven rainbow colors. If you closely inspect her hairline, you know that she has several sculpted baby hairs, fully painted. The ones on either side of her head is rainbow colored. Vanessa's gold earrings have the RH logo written over an emblem at the base and sculpted into large hoops at the bottom. These look pretty similar to the Dolce & Gabbana gold pearl hoop earrings. Vanessa wears a lot of accessories, including a sculpted chain gold choker. It has the RH emblem at the front, and we believe these could be inspired by Versace's Medusa chain necklace. Vanessa's white band t-shirt reads Rainbow High with their stylized RH logo, with shining light in the background. This shirt, especially the RH font, seems very inspired by the rock band Van Helen's own VH logo. This particular design seems most similar to their 1979 World Tour t-shirts. Over the shirt, Vanessa wears a cream color corset with faux buttons and gold stitching. There are two functioning belt loops in the front. She also wears a pair of simple bangle bracelets over her right wrist and a more detailed gold watch on her left. It's great to see more Rainbow High accessory and jewelry. Just like Lyric, she has fingerless fabric gloves over her hands, mostly black and green with multicolor stitching. Her pants are frayed pre-torn jeans with a functioning drawstring at their waist. It's attached to the pants at the back. These jeans include four real pockets and large openings at the knees with several frayed sections down each leg. Her shoes seem to be inspired by the common style of Timberland boots, especially varieties with airbrush customs. We can see a variety of colors in graffiti style paint, including the RH logo, stars, and twinkles. The tongue section together reads, Turn Your Color Up, referencing the Rainbow High theme song. Vanessa's second look kicks off with a simple white t-shirt reading Sparkle is Life in graffiti style drips. Beneath that, we can see a gold RH monogram that resembles Scoochies. We believe this is a reference to Life is Scoochy line of shirts. Next, we have a layer faux denim dress with a similar frayed design to her jeans. There are crisscrossed buckle straps over the shoulders, three sections of black pleather down the torso, and an additional three painted gold buckle pieces down the bottom. There are two separate velcro straps at the back, but this is all one piece. Over these pieces, Vanessa can wear a large olive green cargo jacket. We can see the Supreme inspired sparkle logo at the left sleeve over an emblem that reads, pick your color. The chest shows World Tour 2021 in rainbow colors and a fully stylized rainbow logo decorate the bottom. We can see the Sparkle logo again in violet at the right sleeve over a Metallica inspired rainbow world tour logo. The character written in red on her hood reads Sky in simplified Chinese, which according to our research makes up one half of the word color. If there's any Chinese speakers watching our channel, please let us know if we're missing anything in this translation. Interesting enough, this jacket does not include real pockets the little pieces here are sewn closed. Vanessa's second shoes are periwinkle block heels with black straps and gold painted buckle detailing. The heels themselves read rainbow and gold. Finally, we have our guitarist, Carmen Major. And oh man, is she bringing major style. Check out all the color pop going on in her hair and face. Her eyes are a clear seafoam green with vivid cobalt blue accents. Her eyeshadow consists of a magenta shade along the lid and waterline. The other half is a warm brown that continues up to her outer contour area with a line of gold glitter. Her lips are a coral pink that intensifies to a rich ruby red. Similar to Daphne Minton, there are some interesting variations to Carmen's lipstick application. Carmen also has the sculpted baby hairs similar to the ones on Vanessa. Hers are laid a bit differently and painted hot pink with two sections painted in vibrant rainbow colors. Speaking of her hair, the base color is an electric hot pink. It's really striking. There are two sections with rainbow streaks in the front with additional rainbow streaks in the lower layers of rooting. Her hair is styled into corkscrew curls that are pretty tight and defined. It's definitely not as formed as Winter Break Skylar, but not quite as loose as Georgia's curls. The upper portion is twisted up into two buns. 
She wears gold-colored stud gem earrings that any RH collector can recognize as reprints. Carmen comes dressed in a pretty rad windbreaker jacket. There's a loud hot pink to purple gradient from top to bottom, and decorative black and pink splatters along the top and sleeves. Check out the details on this jacket though. Decorative gold buttons line the front, and there's a black strap and gold buckle on the left side with white print that reads rainbow. Similar to Vanessa's jacket, the faux pocket pieces are sewn closed. There's a really interesting image on the back that we honestly think looks like Britney Spears. A rectangle of sheer fabric with rainbow splatters is sewn over this. Underneath, she has on a navy blue denim top with pink thread detailing. The top comes with a separate piece buckle choker. A soft plastic gold chain necklace with a lock centerpiece lays over the top. Like the other bandmates, she comes with fingerless gloves, hers being the simplest of the trio in a black mesh netting. Carmen wears a white and pink miniskirt with an RH logo design and quilt-like pattern. This seems to be inspired by the Gucci Gigi Tweed miniskirt. Her shoes are thigh-high black boots. There's a gold-painted molded zipper along the front with a cursive rainbow high written on the outer side of each boot. This logo stylization seems to be inspired by similar boots from Versace. Swapping out her first outfit to her alternate look, Carmen continues to look both casual and stylish. She wears a hot pink crop top t-shirt with a logo reading RHTV Rainbow High Television. This is a direct recreation of the iconic MTV logo and its well-known line of shirts. The fishnet shirt underneath is a separate layer that you'll need to put on first. It looks quite risque on its own, but pairs beautifully with her matching mesh gloves. Carmen makes quite a statement with her glam yet edgy skirt. This black pleather skirt is adorned with gold studs of various shapes and silvery pearl pieces. They even cover the backside. Give a close look at these pearls. They give off a lovely light refraction. Finally, her second pair of shoes are black ankle boots. There are yellow straps at the top that read rainbow and the word magic in large white letters along the side. The sole and heel of the shoes are painted white. What's a band without their instruments? All three dolls come with detailed instruments accessories, although none of these function to play actual music. Singer Lyric comes with a metallic gold mic stand and microphone, complete with a handle for the doll to easily hold it. A white fabric twist tie is wrapped around the stand, decorated with an iridescent silver RH pattern. Black string attached to the microphone allows it to plug into an additional piece. A pearly white speaker box with sculpted dials carrying handle and gold edge bumpers. The white paint gives off a bit of an iridescent sheen. Vanessa Temple comes with a gorgeous rainbow colored drum set with rainbow high written twice in different styles across the large bass drums white surface. The Supreme inspired sparkle logo is written on the side of each drum over a rainbow gradient. The bass drum pedal comes in metallic gold and must be attached as a separate piece to the bottom. It functions to hit the drum, but the sound it makes is just plastic hitting plastic. She also gets a matching pair of gold drumsticks to hold, of course. And finally, Miss Carmen gets her own pearly white electric guitar accessory with the details and RH logos all painted metallic gold. You can attach a cute rainbow lanyard piece to either side peg to keep it in position as she holds it. The guitar fits perfectly inside what might be the loveliest piece of all, a shimmery RH monogram guitar case that can be locked closed with three functioning latches. There's also a carrying handle at the side. Check out the brilliant iridescent sheen this gives off you can see a rainbow of colors in the light. As always, each doll comes complete with a display stand, this time in the same metallic gold for all three characters, as well as matching combs and garment hangers. Okay, from here, we can dive into our final thoughts. Speaking as someone who's starting to feel a bit fatigued by the constant onslaught of pricey deluxe dolls this season, I must admit that impressively, you truly get what you pay for with this collection. I honestly think all three Rockstar dolls are must-haves for the hardcore Rainbow High fans. 
Even if you aren't completely digging the rock musician theme or edgy vibe of certain fashion pieces, there's so much color, variety, and quality here, the appeal in person is broader than you might think. Potential for redressing and restyling on this trio feels almost limitless. So many of the fashion pieces here just scream luxury, and I sometimes have to remind myself that these are store shelf playline releases. $50 ones, but still. <laughs> Despite being thematic, these dolls represent everything great about Rainbow High and continue to push its limits of quality, diversity, and taking new risks. Vanessa offers up a lovely brand new hairstyle and unique skin tone, and I can't stress enough just how flat out gorgeous she is in person. I love her little details like the rainbow baby hairs, and she's maybe the most photogenic doll of this set. She looks upbeat and alive in every picture. Lyric was initially my personal favorite because she shares a lot of the same appeal as series 2 Amaya Rain, who has become one of my personal top favorites. Maybe I just have a weakness for the rainbow eyeshadow. Her darker color palette and edgier fashions, however, set her apart from Amaya. This unique hair color combo and those bright eyes just hit different. Carmen, I think, will be extremely popular among most collectors with her rainbow pink hair and sweet face. The Devious Sculpt has more potential for variety than I first thought. It is interesting that her face looks a bit different in person compared to the promos, but I'm no less obsessed with her vibrant aesthetic, and I think she would be a ton of fun to experiment with different looks. A small handful of one-off quality control issues aside, these are incredibly beautiful, detailed, high-quality dolls. Add them to your Christmas list. Full stop. Well, these three really hurt my wallet. For the asking price of $50, these dolls are not for everyone. If you do decide to purchase one or more of the Rockstar dolls, I think they're completely worth it. Some of the fashion pieces are incredibly detailed, even for the high standards that we see from the mainline Rainbow High releases. I can't even imagine how they were able to sew and craft such tiny little gloves that these girls come with. We don't even see this level of effort on adult collector dolls usually. Being exclusive Rainbow High dolls, I do feel like these dolls are a breath of fresh air to the series. They are not confined to one color palette, being able to play with different colors and designs freely. I love Vanessa's electrifying hair color and her gorgeous ensembles. Lyric's outfit pieces are so luxe and stylish. I love that while she's mainly a black and white color palette, those pop of colors really make her glow. But my absolute favorite has to be Carmen. She really shines so vibrant in her box. She's right up my alley. She might even be my favorite Rainbow High doll so far. The instruments are a really nice addition. They are really well crafted and we can always use more accessories. I still think $50 is a lot for collectors and parents to justify, but I think the amount of details you get is well worth it. On the other hand, I think the portion of the price is due to being a retail exclusive. I think MJ is really testing collectors' limits on what they're willing to spend. If they continue producing such nice dolls, I think for me personally, it'll be hard to say no. Thank you for joining us for this review. We hope you enjoyed it. Definitely make sure to let us know what you think of the Rainbow High rock stars in the comments below. You can check out our full Rainbow High playlist linked in the description below as well. Hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't. Let us know what you want to see next on our channel and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.